You ever feel like nothing good was ever gonna happen to you? Yeah, and nothing did. So what? I'm alive, I'm surviving. That's it. I don't wanna just survive. It says in these movie writing books that every character has an arc. You understand? I think everybody starts out somewhere, and then they do something, something gets done to them, changes their life. That's called their arc. Where's my arc? Good morning. We're kind of on like a little saga right now. Two videos ago, I did like a full day of eating. I showed you guys all my meals and I ended up getting a few comments being like, bro, you literally don't eat any fruits or vegetables. So in the last video, I asked you guys, is it really that important as long as I'm getting in all my vitamins? Cause I supplement my vitamins. So this guy commented this, pause if you guys want to read it, which made them sound pretty important. And then this other guy commented this, giving kind of like a rundown of the vitamins in my diet and why they might be important. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start having a shake with like maybe like some frozen berries and a banana. And I'll just have that with my last meal of the day. Also, he said the thing about orange juice and I think I'm just gonna have a glass of orange juice with my first meal because I need more calories. My weight's gotten kind of stagnant. So having this shake and like a glass of orange juice is gonna be enough calories for me to go back into a surplus so I can start growing again. Anyways, we have to go to the store to get anything for a shake. I don't even have a blender. Bye. Am I going to regret buying the cheap blender or is it worth it to shell out an extra $50? I think I'm gonna get the cheap blender. I remember when I was younger and I used to have a shake every day. Like I did my day with like a mass gainer shake. It wasn't like mass gainer protein, but it was just like, I put like a ton of stuff in there. So it was, it's kind of like a homemade mass gainer shake. But my sleep schedule has always been pretty fucked. Like I've always kind of slept like this. And I remember back when I still lived at my mom's house, I would go on the front porch at night to blend up my shakes so I wouldn't wake up the people in the house and people would drive by and I'd just be, cause I, I had like the shitty blender back then too. I'd be like sitting there for like five minutes trying to get it to fucking blend everything up. I don't know. I gotta be the only gym bro who don't own a blender. I haven't made a protein shake in like two years. I'm not gonna add protein powder to this. Um, All right, so here's my uh, shake idea. So Fairlife is gonna be like the milk base. This is what Sawyer uses. This is what he was using in his shake in Houston. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna have blueberries, a banana, and then peanut butter. Hopefully it makes it like bring the flavor together. I don't know. I don't really want any more fat. So I don't really want the peanut butter. I just need more carbs. That's honestly all I need. That's why the orange juice is nice. I need you guys to let me know in the comments what else I'm supposed to put in a shake. I don't know. I always see people like whipping up shakes with superfoods, all that shit. I don't know. This is what I got. Anyways, I'm not gonna make this till the end of the day. It's gonna be with my last meal. I think I already said that. Um, but yeah, I will just probably see you guys when it's time to go lift. Bye. Yo, I know this isn't a unique experience and I'm not just being a grumpy hater, but do you guys find it funny how like us as guys who go to the gym is we'll just have like unspoken beef with just like a random guy in the gym. For, usually it's like an older guy or like subconsciously you think they're like trying to one up you or something. Maybe, maybe it's like an insecurity thing. I don't know, I just think that's funny how like we just beef with someone random and like most of the time these people when I've talked to them it's like wow this is actually he's actually a nice dude I think most of the time it's just because they have like a resting bitch face or they got like a mean face so it always seems like they're just mean mugging you and one up trying to one up you whenever you do shit and it's like they're always at the gym at the same time as you and it's like fuck that guy but there's actually no reason to be mad at him he didn't do anything for me, this is some legitimate hating and beefing that I do. Is like, when I go into the gym and I see someone throwing up big weight, but they're half repping it. And it's like, I know you've been going to the gym for long enough to know that that's a half rep. To me, that's just like disrespecting gym culture. Like you'll, you'll see them squat 405 and then you'll squat 405. And it's like, 
Does this guy like in his head think that that's the same? That your one eighth squat is equal to my high bar ass grass squat? I don't know, maybe. Maybe they're that delusional. Yo, I actually, one time, I actually do have legitimate beef story. That sounds weird. With this one guy at the gym. Nick P story time. So at this other gym that I went to, um, I was going for a deadlift PR. Um, it was 6.05, which is six plates and a 10. This is relevant later on. And I go to attempt this, and this guy is like near me with his son. And I go to attempt it and you know, I get all hyped up, you know, bark at the weights a little bit. And I go and I fail that shit. And right after I do it, I pause my music and I hear him talking to his son and I hear him say some shit like, how funny would it be if I went up and just did it right in front of him? And I've seen this guy deadlift. Like at most he's doing like 425 for like sets of three or like 405. Like there's no way in hell he's gonna go up and pull 605. And I know he was probably like embarrassing his kid because his kid was like, I don't know, I couldn't do that much. It seems like a lot. And the funny thing is, is I hear him talking and he's like, how much is that? 425, I think. Because 425 is four plates and a 10. And I did six plates and a 10. That's why it's relevant. And then he's like, oh, oh, maybe, 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 maybe 515. So that's five plates and 10. He's getting there. I think that's around the time he realized that there's no chance he could ever lift that much. I think this guy was just mad at the world because he lost all his hair. And then I think after he realized how much weight it was, he uh, he actually came up to me and he was like, uh, so uh, why do you pull sumo? Um, why are you comparing yourself to someone from a different century? Why are you taller than your hair? And I, looking at this guy's build, I know he's someone who would literally pull less if he pulled sumo. And I hit him with the, well, it's just what it's just what works for my leverage is, you know, for someone like you, you probably pull less if you tried sumo because he's built like one of those 2000s white refrigerators. I don't know. Random story time. Real gym beef. Not really, though, because come on, bros never pulling as much as me. Anyways, we're going to go hit a push day. A lot of you guys said on my Instagram story that you guys want to see more leg days. Next vid, we'll do a leg day. Maybe maybe we'll do squats. Maybe. The December Young LA drop. They're having like one big drop this month. Um, it should be live when you guys are watching this video. Everything I'm wearing is from that drop. So if you guys want to go check that out, it'll be linked below. Everything I'm wearing is from the drop. Um, code Nick at checkout if you guys do want to support my videos and save some money. But yeah, uh, let's uh, go hit a push day. Bye. <laughs> So we just did a top set of three with 325. Now I'm gonna drop it down to like 285. Do like five sets of five. Bench has been like shitty recent, not shitty, but like stagnant. I mean, I'm still kind of around the same strength, but it hasn't been going up. There's really no excuse. I probably just need to eat more and train harder. You know, 90% of your gym problems, that's what's gonna fix them. Unless maybe you're trying to cut, but like eat more and train harder is gonna fix like majority of your problem. Also, I think my technique got kind of shit, so I, I need to do more like working sets so I can dial my technique back in, I don't know, but th that's what we're gonna do, 25 for five.
One thing I feel really like, I don't know, I guess lucky with is that I've never had like a serious injury when it comes to lifting. I think part of that has to do with like, I never really played sports as a kid. A lot of people have like injuries from sports that kind of affect their lifting for the rest of their life. One thing I do accredit that to like, one thing I do accredit that to, like a big part of it is I always extensively warm up when I go to lift. Like I always do like five, 10 minutes on the bike, you know, rotator cuff warm ups, warm up my back, get my shoulders right. And it probably takes me 30, 45 minutes before I'm hitting my top set. But for me, that's really worth it because in my opinion, you know, I wanna be lifting forever. And if you're trying to get strong, longevity is like one of the main things that's gonna help you get strong because if you just like lift for like 10 years, you're probably gonna get decently strong. Like I know I was hating on bro earlier from that story, but one thing he does have is he's at the ancient fossilized prehistoric age of like 35, 40, he's still in the gym hitting heaviest dead deadlifts. And that's how I wanna be like, I wanna be lifting as long as I can, you know. You know, if I'm still hitting heavy deadlifts when I'm like 40, 50, that'd be fucking sick. I feel really lucky that I've never had a serious injury in the gym. Like most of the people that I see on YouTube, they always got like some nagging injury that like comes and goes and it's always fucking with their lifts. You know, sometimes they're fine, sometimes it's shit. And I don't have any of that. You know, technique is part of not getting injured, but it's not as important as you think. It's really about recovery, warming up properly, and then like training within your means. Like you could have good technique, but if you're maxing out on deadlifts every session, which, you know, I kind of go through those phases sometimes, which is stupid. I mean, not like every session, but I'd be going heavy. Um, but your body's sort of gonna break down and that's when it's gonna be prone to injury. So knowing when to like push and pull your training intensity is gonna, you know, is gonna be really important when it comes to staying injury free. It's important that you're always going hard in the gym. You gotta do the other stuff so that you can stay injury free and have that longevity. That way you can go hard. The harder you recover, the harder you can train. Anyways, that's all I got for bench today. Nothing that exciting. One thing I find kind of funny is when people are, are like, I don't do barbell bench press because dumbbells give you more range of motion. And then they go do dumbbell press and they like, they'll go bust out some like 116th reps. I don't even necessarily think you get more range of motion out of dumbbells. Because how often do you ever see anyone like going below your chest? It's pretty rare. Um, I do think the advantage is having that free range. And like, I think you can get like a bit of a better contraction on your chest, but like, Acting like there's more range of motion or if it's going to be that different in terms of what it does is stupid. I mean, I think they're both great. I don't hate on dumbbells. They're great exercises. But I think it's stupid when people say that shit. I don't know. I always got hater opinions. Um, I'm going to do this little push workout and I will see you guys after. Bye.
that's a wrap. I was watching this vid from this power lifter. Shit, who was it? I don't know. I watched it like two weeks ago. But um, he's kind of talking about opportunity costs with training. And this is more for those of you who take the gym more seriously. Nick P. Clone, you only got to pay attention. But basically what he was saying is like every time you like skip a meal or skip a training session, like you may think you're only missing out on like, it's only going to like set you back a little bit, right? But you're also missing out on like, the benefit of it too. So what you're actually missing out is like twice as much as what you think it is. Now, obviously you can't be eating perfect and training perfect always, you know, sometimes life gets in the way. Like maybe you got finals or life shit, I don't know. To be honest, when I would have like a big test, I remember I used to watch lectures between sets. Um, they didn't work that well, but I wasn't gonna <laughs> skip the gym for no test, which is not good advice. I don't know, if you guys are really trying to make the most of it, just. That's why staying consistent and disciplined to your plan is really important because they, they really do add up over time. You know, each meal does more than you think it does or each training session. Like if we measure progress in terms of progress units, you're not only going, let's say five units backwards, you're also missing out on five units of potential progress. So it's like 10 points, which is just relative. There's no exact science on that of what you're missing out on when you skip out on shit. That's how you guys are gonna see your potential. You guys should want more for yourselves. Like I, I see, I see things on like TikTok and they're like, you guys should be, you know, 225 is a good milestone, like on bench press. Um, you know, that's like the first big milestone everyone hits, but it's not like crazy impressive if we're being honest. And I see these things that are like, 95 or 99 percent of the population can't bench 225 with statistics like that like you're comparing yourself to people who've never bench pressed a day in your life why would you stack yourself up against people like that i don't know i think people should want more for themselves like let's say let's say like let's take counter-strike for example like a lower rank in counter-strike is like silver three but if you're silver three you're probably better than 99 percent of the population at counter-strike even though relative in the game you're pretty shit you guys gotta set bigger goals for yourselves i promise that shit's possible it just takes time and consistency yeah honestly i had a decent session can't complain um i will catch you guys at home peace Um, I already drank the shake, so I don't have it to show you guys. See, one of my problems is if I don't get home right after the gym and go make my food and eat it, you know, a lot of the times I end up just passing out and skipping a meal, which is gonna fuck my progress because that's a lot of calories to miss. So I always just gotta make that stuff like the moment I get home. I'll go through phases where I just, I'll get in bed, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just chill for five minutes and then I just pass out. Yo, this is random. Do you guys ever feel bad for random things? Like at the gym today, I was, I was watching a reel my friend sent me and I like verbally laughed at it. But like right as I laughed, someone was coming up the stairs and I looked at them laughing. <laughs> it wasn't like hysterically laughing or anything like that, but it was just like a laugh. And it seemed like someone who was like new to the gym. I don't know, I just hope they, I just hope they don't think I was like laughing at them. I promise I wasn't. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, make sure you guys check out that Young LA drop if you guys want any new winter clothes. I haven't tried these yet. Um, Huge is dropping two new flavors of Enraged. That's like, that's my favorite pre. If you guys want something that actually 
hits, you should try out Enraged. It's Santa's Punch and Green Apple. I don't know. I don't care about flavors too much. I just know I fuck with the pre. If you guys want to try some new flavors, those are dropping. If you guys got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll answer all your questions. Subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, but that's all. Peace.